Hi, welcome back everybody to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias Veninga and this time we're going to have a look at the show interface commands that are available now in the Arua OS. Lately I got a lot of questions around this, so I want to give you a little bit of my perspective which commands are useful from a show interface perspective. So let's connect to this COM port. And I'm using um, a 3810M Aruba switch with Aruba OS 16.01004. I can show you that in a minute. Like, so let me do 58 and make this a little bit longer. Okay, so we have some space. So let me show you the zero version. You can see that I'm running this. Uh, this is the latest GEO code available on the hp.com slash networking website for the respective switch. So let's have a look at the show interface commands. So if you do show interfaces with a question mark, you can see all the commands. Um, <clears throat> if you just do show interfaces, you can see some uh, sports statistics. You can see that I have 48 port. The first eight port are smart rate in my case. But you can see the total bytes, total frames, error drops and a little bit of information. Um, this is not what I always use. I use a couple of commands a lot. One is the brief, because this gives me a great overview of everything, you know, the type, intrusion alerts, uh, if the port is enabled, what is the status, the mode, the MDI mode, flow control and broadcast limit. But sometimes this is also a little bit of a lot of information or you want to have more details in uh, uh, from a specific port. So I'm using uh, port uh, 9 and 10 on the switch. As you can see, uh, my first eight ports are smart rate and 9 and 10 are uh, the ports I have in use. So if I do port 9, you can see that I have statistics on this port, the MAC errors, link status, and some, uh, some additional error information. So that can be nice. But sometimes you need to troubleshoot, and then you want to have um, a little bit quicker information on where, what kind of VLAN information, uh, etc. is available. Is it one VLAN? Is it tagged VLAN? Is it multiple VLANs? So in this case, I'm always using uh, the status command. And in this case, you can see that if you're using the show interface status, you can see the port, you can see the port name, you can see the status, config mode, but you can immediately see if it is tagged or an untagged port. Uh, or is the header is multiple or one VLANs on top of that port. Um, so the VLAN, the ID, that's the ID number of the VLAN. When you can see multi is displayed, then that particular case, the port is member of multiple tech VLAN. If there is a no, there is no member of a tech VLAN. The untagged value, of course, the ID is the ID of the untagged value. Multi is multiple intact VLAN IDs, and no is the same as we had. So this gives you a quick info of the show port status and what kind of VLAN. Another command I also like is the show interface uh, display command. And this command shows you the interfaces and is refreshing every three seconds. So for example, this particular uh, port you can see here, this is my Linux system. Uh, I'm going to set up a ping now and that's connected to port 10. So every three seconds, I now can see an automatically refresh on the port 10 uh, of the amount of bytes and the amount of frames I display. So I can even do uh, show details of this port and I get, get this uh, detailed information, but also in a real time fashion. So you can see this constantly updated. So if you need to troubleshoot, you need to figure out what's going on, this can be a very handy. Uh, handy command. So let's go back. And then uh, I have I have one command. So I have one command that I also find very useful is uh, let me go back here and go back to the prompt. One command I also find useful is a show interface command. And then uh, you can see the custom there. And with the custom command, you can provide a port list. So let me pick provide you port 5 to 12 for example and then you can change um, and you can customize what port you want to see so let me do a port uh, I want to see the type the status um, speed mode and MDI for example so this way if I do this you can immediately see that I have 
I can see the ports that I provided, 5 to 12. I can see the type, I can see the status, speed, config mode and MDI mode. So this way you can maybe figure out if there's any cabling issues, um, the defaults are the port by MDI, so it will figure out if there is a, a cross cable or a straight cable connect and make sure you have the right settings. But this way, if you have, for example, uh, manually configured, then you need to make sure that the right cables are used. Then you can immediately see, hey, is there an issue in this in this particular case? For example, in the speed, it would be nice to have a little bit more um, uh, more room there. So what you can do there, so let me type this command again for you. Shipe interface, let's do custom 5 to 12. Then we take port, type, status, and uh, status, so status. And then we take speed, and we want to have a little bit more room there between spadif and config. So we say, okay, let's use 12 characters there. And then uh, we took mode, uh, mode, and MDI. So we do enter, and as you can see now, so I, per column, I can provide the amount of uh, spaces or uh, I want to use for that. So you could get the right output. So I think this is a handy command. And then uh, in order to quickly figure out uh, what's, for example, going on from a port utilization perspective, then it's my last command for this series is that I like show interface port utilization and do enter. And I can quickly see here is immediately I can see the port. I send the kilobytes, kilobits uh, per second. I can see the packets per second. And the utilization, you can see here that utilization is based on the, um, uh, how do I say it? The utilization is expressed as a percentage of the total bandwidth available. So that's where you can see from the receive and from the transmit. So the utilization is expressed as a percentage of the total bandwidth available. So these are the interface commands I really like. And the next video I go in to uh, a feature um, to figure out if there's something wrong on the port and that you can uh, uh, like the TDR functionality directly from the switch. Hope you like it and hope to see you next time.